Dakota first. Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. We're at the Burke County Courthouse. Hey, Tom, how's the weather? Yeah, we were out there. KX was out there today. Uh, KX giving back uh, to the Burke County, uh, the, the workers in the county, the sheriff's department, the uh, custom officials. I mean, they're the ones that do all the hard work for the county to make sure the county works, and also with the sheriff and the custom officials making sure that we're safe. So just our way of uh, saying thanks by giving back, and we just brought them lunch and got to spend a little time with them. So I, of course, talked them into doing the hey, time, and thank you for that. Okay, there's a flood advisory in eastern Montana. That's the... Uh, or flood, excuse me, I'll start with the flood watch. That's the dark green. That's because thunderstorms are expected could trigger some flash flooding. Now, within that, in this area you see in here, is an aerial flood advisory. There's already been rain. We're already starting to get some minor flooding, and there could be a little bit more. But it's a bit of a difference, kind of the same thing, but a bit of a difference. We are not at this point anticipating any advisories for North Dakota. Obviously, that's subject to change, but at this point, that's the latest. Uh, the temperatures at this time are in the uh, mid-50s. Couple of low sixes. You can see Bismarck and Flasher uh, in the 60s right now. Same thing in Hedinger, but everybody else in the 50s right now. And the uh, wind has been roughly 15 to 20 miles an hour, so kind of a sloppy day, especially in western North Dakota. So here's the uh, actual radar and the satellite, so you can see how this rain is kind of straddling the uh, Mondak border. A bit of a break there. We had some dry air pushing into uh, central North Dakota or our central part of our area. So that kind of shut down the rain. A little misty in spots, but overall uh, really helped things out as far as as far as the rain. So you can see some areas around Kildare. Notice the yellows. That's where we're already starting to see some heavier rain. Now I'm going to use a forecast model that seems to have the timing right, but it's pushed the rain about 50 or 60 miles farther west uh, in the computer simulation than where it's actually at. But this will give us a pretty good idea. So here we are, 7 o'clock tonight. We, we know that the rain's kind of going up in the west. And then once we get into tonight and into tomorrow morning, this is going to be real widespread. Now, early in the morning, it may not be up to Highway 2 yet. But still, you can see Bismarck, uh, Bowman, Dickinson, uh, Sydney, around Williston, could be Garrison getting some uh, substantial, substantial rain. And then by 10 o'clock in the morning, it looks like the heavier rain might still continue to be in the west, but also moving to the north. And now we're starting to see some oranges there. So it could be a pretty good little shot of rain. And some rain still, maybe uh, Morton County, parts of Burley County, getting some heavy rain as well. And then you can see around Harvey up into the Turtle Mountains. So that's some pretty substantial rain. And then by tomorrow night, it appears, if this forecast model's right, that the heaviest rain moves off to the east. But you still notice the dots of green, dark green, and yellow showing up. So there still could be some pretty heavy rain at times tomorrow night. But tomorrow night, things are going to be winding down. So by the time you get up Friday morning, hopefully... Uh, if you're hoping, hopefully that rain's going to start pushing off. We can start getting allowing the crops to dry a little bit. Uh, things will be better, and uh, we're going to be a little bit breezy as well Thursday and Friday. Actually, somewhat windy uh, Thursday and Friday morning, but by Friday afternoon, uh, things should begin to dry out, and the weather should improve actually as we get into the weekend. Potential rain amounts very substantial, and you can even see where the advisories are and the watches. That's some pretty heavy rain around Sydney, uh, but you can see many areas south of Bismarck, if this model's right, getting some pretty uh, decent rain amounts. And the temperatures will start warming back up in Dickinson. They're going to start warming back up in Williston. Here's a forecast temps tonight, rather cool. Daytime temps tomorrow, 50s. Let me show you the next seven days because notice it here on the Minot map and take a close look at the Williston map. We have temperatures back in the 80s next week, and I know, Lauren, you and I will like that. Absolutely. I'm all about that. Thanks, Tom. We'll be right back.